Hi guys, um, this is my Louis Vuitton collection video. Um, I am doing this video because I've always wanted to do a Louis Vuitton collection video. I've only been collecting Louis Vuitton for about two months. Um, my collection consists of pre-loved and new bags. And I love pre-owned or pre-loved bags because I'm a very neat freak. And um, some of the bags that I really plan to use hard, I like to buy pre-loved because then I'll use them because my newer bags, the ones I buy brand new, I will baby those like, it's not even funny. You shouldn't even love material items that way. Uh, before I get started, I wanna thank um, Lang Do, or XXLANGDUXX, um, for inspiring me to make a Louis Vuitton video. And um, I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Louis Vuitton Bags for Bubbles and BG Taylor 02 for inspiring me to do a video because I love your videos. So without further ado, let me start. So this bag is my everyday bag. It's pre-loved. Um, all my bags are authentic, by the way. Um, this is the Cabas Piano Tote. It's big enough to hold exactly what I need on an everyday basis. Um, a lot of people don't like this all machetta um, bottom, but you know it's used, so I don't mind abusing it a little bit more. And I'll show you guys how I clean it and keep it clean with the Apple Guard in a later video. Um, inside of there, I have my Zippy coin purse, with our coin wallet, not the Z, Zippy coin purse. Um, as you notice, it's got the three, three LVs, which, you know, most all Louis Vuitton bags are pretty much made the same. So if yours looks different than mine, then I'm just saying. I bought this brand new because I wanted to... Um, just get a lot of use out of it you know I hope to have this wallet for five ten years too bad I couldn't get this heat stamped but it's okay um, this holds a lot it holds um, eight cards I have about 22 bills some band-aids brief road trips some coins um, some lottery tickets some receipts uh, coupons I love this purse or this wallet. The only bad thing I will say is sometimes when I close it, it has a tendency to get a little bulge right there. If you guys can see it. Um, it's because of the, oh, here it goes. This will turn sideways a lot. So when I close it, it'll bulge. So I always have to remind myself to pull it down. See, pull it down and then zip it up because I don't want it to have like a little wear and tear right there. So that's my Zippy coin purse. This purse I actually really wanted to buy, um, but when I wanted to buy it, it was too late, so I actually just got this purse, um, and I plan on wearing it to a formal event that I have this Saturday. I will do a outfit of the day video for a formal affair. Um, this is the Shirley, and she's really cute, multicolor. She does not hold a lot. She holds a cell phone, some lip gloss, some keys, and that's about it. It's very, very shallow. Um, but I will not wear it like this. I'm going to wear this purse as a clutch. As a clutch. Like this, probably, or you know, very cute. Um, this clutch. It's not that big. Uh, probably you can hold as much as you can hold in a mini pochette. Um, it's so weird. When I bought this bag, I was kind of like, okay, it's, it's heat stamped right here. And then you're going to have your day code right here. So that's Shirley. And uh, let's see. Here is my Koala wallet. Um, this is a very functional wallet. Um, there's nine card slots and a little, a little space right here, a little coin. This holds a lot of coins. You know how many times I've had to like empty all these coins out? Like, you can hold a couple bucks in here. Um, I don't know why Louis Vuitton has this like frosting, like, I don't know. Cause I always have my driver's license here. So I still have to take it out because you can't see it and bill floats. I like this wallet because um, when I'm going somewhere that I need a wallet and I can't carry my Zippy coin wallet, which is, here's a comparison to how big they are. 
then I carry this one. Okay, and here it comes. They're all popular. Everyone probably has one of these. I bought this pre-loved. Um, just because it's just you know, a really popular bag, whatever. I'm trying to rub out a scratch that I put in it. <laughs> uh, this is just the pochette, just a regular pochette. You know, it looks really cute. Just, I'll step back a little. I'm five foot 10 and I weigh about 150 pounds. Um, and inside is it, uh, the pochette I have, the mini pochette. You see how cute they are together? Look how, I'll do a size comparison. Um, so, see how it's got two LDs on this side, two LDs on this side. I bought this used, um, which are a lot of you are probably wondering why this is all nasty and black. I'm going to take this in and get this replaced because I don't like it either. Um, I don't know what they did, but I got it for a really good deal, so I couldn't pass it up. And plus, it's always in my purse. I usually use it as a makeup bag. Like, I don't ever touch up my makeup because, I don't know, I just don't. Um, I also want to show you guys that I put little um, dryer sheets to keep keep everything smelling good. So, here's my mini pochette, and this is how I wear it. I never wear it like a purse because my arm is really big, <laughs> and it looks funny. Inside the mini pochette, I have the clay. Isn't this a cute way of showing you guys, huh? Um, I, um, see, one, we only have one Louis Vuitton here, one Louis Vuitton here. Um, and in here, I keep gum, chapstick, and uh, clippers. See? Oh, this one's made in the U.S., I guess. Um, and this is usually kept on my, not usually, but it is kept on my keys. Um, this is a very, I love this. This comes in handy. Um, very handy. So here's a little, here's my little trio. It's like the little Lonoshka dolls or something, the Russian dolls. So here's my trio of those. Next is probably one of my most used bags. I bought this new. This is the Boss Bar Pouchette. Boss Bar. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, guys. And this holds a lot. This is how it looks. You know, I live downtown, so very. I have to be very urban. So this gets me to where everywhere I gotta go. And this, I was gonna show you, holds. It's pretty deep. See, it's pretty deep. But it's not that as big as people think it may be. It's actually pretty small. Um, so I have a tendency to put the mini pochette and and this in there, and a, and a cell phone right here and keys. I don't like laying my bags down because it looks funny. Um, so next is I bought this. I always wanted this bag, and I bought this bag used, and I had to look for it. Um, but I like it just because it's. Not in stores now doesn't mean that, how do you say, uh, it's not a good bag. So this is the mini looping bag. I really like this bag. It holds a lot. I usually have my zippy, my zippy wallet, mini pochette, and um, cell phone and keys, and I'll leave it at that. And I like the fact that this has a zipper, even though I never put anything back there. I like it. <laughs> Because this is like my little going out bag when I need to take more than the, the pochette, the regular pochette size. So this is how it looks on me. Okay, so this next bag, I am not proud about. I bought this off uh, eBay, and this will probably be the last bag I buy off eBay. I bought it used. Um, this is also the only Damier Ebony print, or please, uh, <laughs> that I have. This is the Bloomsbury. GM and the difference of the GM and the PM is the GM has the zipper and the PM just has a little snap. And I have this on the middle ring. Like I said, I'm five foot ten and this looks pretty uh pretty normal for me. <laughs> and this is the boss four and the and the Bloomsbury GM comparison. 
see, it's, it's big. And the boss floor is 10 by 10. So that'll give you a little idea. This next bag is one of my favorites. Galliera, bought this new. I love this bag. Um, I usually have this bag. I wear it all the time, but I had to, I don't want to ruin it, the hardware on this bag. Um, and it's important to wear all your bags because you need to wear them to get, to get even wear. Um, this bag holds a lot. It's like, it's like my mommy bag, even though I don't need it. <laughs> or I'm not a mom, but uh, yeah. So this bag is really cute. And this is the Gal Galliera, Galera PM. And this one right here was made in the U.S. Made in the U.S. If you could see. Oh, well. My last bag is actually the last bag I bought. New. Um, I've, I've been collecting Louis Vuitton for like three months. Because this bag is three months old. <laughs> and this is the Estrella. MM, I believe. Not the GM. I'm not a big fan of GM bags in general because I don't need to look like I'm carrying a shopping bag around. I usually don't wear it with the strap because the strap looks funny. Um, but yeah, this is the shoulder straps are long enough. But this is how it looks. It just like this. It looks funny, huh? Yeah. But this is a beautiful bag. Um, I love the hardware on this bag. They're just, it's just so pretty. If you want me to do a review on any of these bags, uh, let me know. And I like this bag because this one was made in France. I don't know why everyone's always like made in France. Okay, go crazy over that. I don't care. Um, uh, I like the U.S. You know, I live here. <laughs> I love this bag. Uh, like I said, I, I keep um, dryer sheets in my bags to make sure they always smell good. Uh, never mothballs because you will never get that smell out. And um, as I was saying earlier, um, for my used bags, particularly the, the Cabas Piano and the Mini Looping Bag, these two, I use um, Apple Guard. It comes in this little kit. It's twelve dollars plus six dollars shipping, shipping and handling. I'm sorry, um, which doesn't make sense because that's like fifty percent of what it costs. And then it comes in this little little bag. Sorry, that's my little magic eraser. And you get this little cloth. This works really good. The Coach Cleaners. Mm -mm. That ate my bags up. But this actually uh, restored the luster that I was looking for. So it works. So that is my Louis Vuitton collection. I will take a few pictures just to show you. Um, let me know if you want me to do any videos on or reviews on the items I just show, or showed you. Thanks. And if you made it to the end, thank you. I will try to make my videos a little bit shorter, but that was a collection video, so sorry. <laughs> Had to be a little long. Thank you. Bye.